cigarette cartons hidden in rolls of paper, a baby mule loaded with illegal products, psychotropic drugs hidden in the soles of shoes. If you thought that smugglers had used every conceivable means of concealment, think again, they still have some in their brains. Sit back and get ready for a lot of laughs. Here are the 8 most inventive smugglers of all time. The main task of border guards is to monitor the borders of a country. This is not an easy job, since, in times of war, they have to intervene in armed conflicts. On the other hand, in times of peace, they exchange their military costumes for those of customs officers, and there it becomes much more exciting. In Chernivtsi, Ukraine, border guards intercepted a huge truck with goods that was to cross the border. During the usual search of the cargo, the border guards found several huge rolls of paper in the back of the vehicle, which were supposedly authorized for sale. At first glance, everything seemed normal. But one of the customs officers had the feeling that something abnormal was going on. So he naturally decided to open one of the gigantic rolls of paper to see if there was anything hidden inside. That's when he discovered that it contained several hundred cartons of contraband cigarettes. The driver of the truck was trying to smuggle the merchandise to a safe haven somewhere in Europe. The customs officers had to arm themselves with large electric saws and patience to open all the other rolls of paper. But this long work allowed them to discover nearly 200,000 cartridges hidden in the rolls, the equivalent of 6 million hryvnia, a little more than 180,000 euros. A nice catch. The cigarettes and the truck were seized for investigation, and the driver was prosecuted. The customs officer was right to trust his instinct. The smuggler you are about to see is used to smuggling goods across the borders of his country, and for this, he does not lack imagination. At the border with the Democratic Republic of Congo, this man was trying to cross the customs with a baby on his back to go to Uganda. But while taking the bus to the border, one of the customs officers noticed that the baby's body was not normal. The traveler was stopped at the Mpondwe border post. The Congolese immediately complied with the orders and allowed himself to be searched. The Ugandan customs officers discovered that the so-called baby was actually a doll and that it was filled with several hundred skin lightening cosmetics. These creams had been banned for sale in Uganda since 2016 because they allegedly contain mercury and hydroquinone, which some studies have linked to adverse health effects. The smugglers who carry out this illicit practice get paid about 1 euro per trip and normally move the goods through box by box or bag by bag. But this one probably wanted to make a big score by taking the risk of placing all his bulk products inside the plastic baby. The smuggler had all his merchandise taken away as well as the doll he used to work with. We don't know what happened to him after this case. Still in the category of the most incongruous and unsuspected mules, here is an absolutely unusual case. One day, in the Sri Lankan borders of the Colombo airport, a man with a strange gait was pacing back and forth while waiting for the call to board. The 45-year-old traveler was scheduled to fly to India, and like all travelers, he had to pass through the famous metal detection barrier before he could board. When he arrived in front of the metal detector, it started to ring loudly, which only confirmed to the airport agents that something was wrong with the traveler. Indeed, the traveler was betrayed by his suspicious behavior and his difficulties to walk normally. What was the surprise of the controllers when they discovered after several thorough searches that the man was trying to transport clandestinely almost one kilo of gold divided into seven small ingots and jewels, which he had apparently taken care to hide in his rectum. The value of the loot, packed in a small plastic bag, was estimated to be around 25,000 euros. However, the mule was allowed to go free, after paying a fine of 550 euros. Next time, he might choose smaller ingots, who knows, maybe he will pass incognito. In 2017, two drug traffickers were among the passengers on an American Airlines plane from Puerto Rico to New York. To avoid being caught by law enforcement, they thought to place a huge amount of heroin in their dog's cage. The dog was used as a mule to discreetly transport the drugs by air. But when they arrived at John F. Kennedy Airport in Queens, the two men who were impatiently waiting for their booty in the cargo area were immediately arrested by the police, who a few moments before had discovered the drugs in the dog's transport case. The two suspects, 27 and 35 years old, had disseminated an estimated $1 million worth of heroin in the crate. The two men, from Putnam County and the Bronx respectively, were held accountable and faced charges of conspiracy and drug possession. They left the airport with their hands tied, without a gram of heroin on them but with a heavy prison sentence on their backs, up to 20 years. 
Drug dealers are usually well trained, they know exactly what to do or not to do to avoid being caught by the police. More importantly, they are able to come up with the craziest and most original tactics to get their goods to their destination without getting caught. In 2016, a Brazilian traveler had to go to Italy for personal business. His goal was to bring the equivalent of 2 million euros worth of cocaine into the country. To do this, he thought of placing it in his sneakers. But not in any way. The man injected 7 kilograms of cocaine in liquid form into the soles so that everything goes unnoticed. After being questioned by the controllers of the main airfield of Rome, the Brazilian who arrived from Sao Paulo, said he was coming to spend a few days of vacation in the Eternal City. He only had a small suitcase with six pairs of sneakers with platform soles. But six pairs of shoes is a lot for a few days of vacation. And it is precisely this faux pas, no pun intended, that alerted the customs officers during the famous checkpoint. The tourist was forced to confess afterwards that he had introduced the drug with the help of a syringe, in the gel of his shoes so that the controllers could see only fire. Thus, the Brazilian was arrested at the airport of Fiumicino. Maybe he should have filled his suitcase a bit more if he wanted to attract less attention. In Washington, D.C., three individuals formed a gang that engaged in illegal and fraudulent practices. They were making fake passports, fake IDs, fake driver's licenses and fake credit cards in order to withdraw money from bank tellers. Their schemes worked quite well, so much so that for a long time no one realized they were scammers. But one day, while trying to trick one of the banks in the city of Spokane once again, the three individuals were found out. It was probably by behaving strangely that the three people attracted the attention of the banker, who soon noticed that they were using fake cards to withdraw money. The fraudsters fled as soon as they noticed that the banker was looking at them strangely. Some time later, they were arrested by the city's police and taken into custody. And it is only once in cell, that the woman who was part of the gang had to reveal the $26,000, that is to say 18,900 euros, that she was hiding in her bra. After all, why not since she said to herself that nobody would dare to look in her underwear. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, so they say. The woman and her two accomplices were finally incarcerated for their fraudulent acts. Hervin Dominique Battery is a young man of 33 years old who works as a mason. One day, he was invited by his girlfriend to Madagascar, where he spent a few days of vacation. Hervin was on methadone, a drug that helps people get over their addiction. Two days after his arrival in Madagascar, Hervin was taken of a violent malaise, because he had not received his methadone treatment. Otherwise, he had bought a box of psychotropic drugs to replace his usual treatment. Seeing his physical condition deteriorate despite taking psychotropic drugs, Hervin decided to shorten his stay and return by the first plane. However, he decided to take the box of psychotropic drugs with him, after having consumed some of the pills, and shared others with friends. For the rest, he naturally decided to hide them in the soles of his shoes, since he knew he was in violation. Indeed, to be able to transport this kind of products, it is necessary to have a ministerial or medical authorization. But once arrived at the airport of Placence, the Mason underwent a body search which led the customs agents to discover the 50 tablets of psychotropic drugs worth about 47 euros. And since he did not have any authorization and moreover, could not justify why he had opted for psychotropic drugs, whereas he could get methadone, Hervin was arrested and his drug was confiscated. He received two fines totaling 575 euros and 18 months in prison. Before the rapid evolution of technology and messaging systems, pigeons, which can carry objects weighing up to 10% of their weight, were used to transmit messages between individuals. But although they are intelligent animals, they can sometimes fail in their duty and get the wrong recipient. This is precisely what happened to this carrier pigeon which, to the great misfortune of its addressees, landed near the Iraqi borders instead of transmitting the parcel to its true recipient. The pigeon had just walked into the lion's den, as Kuwaiti agents were able to catch it and discover that it was carrying a bag filled with 178 pills of ketamine, an anesthetic drug similar to ecstasy and MDMA. The bird was most likely flying from Kuwait to Iraq. It was carrying a bag on its back that was the same color as its plumage so that it would blend in perfectly. But this was without counting on the Kuwaiti agents who are used to intercepting mule pigeons, and who monitor both land and air borders. Of course, the bird, which was tired of the long and arduous journey, was able to be unloaded from its cargo and released into the wild to be reunited with its family. 
This pigeon has since decided to change his life and migrate elsewhere, where drug traffickers will not use him as a mule. So, what do you think of these 8 smugglers? Give us your opinion in the comments, and as always, don't forget to give us a like, and if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to receive all the notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming content.